Hello, friends and neighbors. Tess Ouija at the desk for a little bit of a Sunday night uh, stampede. Figured I'd give a, a little bit of an extra time slot. Also because I want to get through this postseason. There's some real intrigue involved this year. Excuse me while I fiddle with volume settings. There we go. So, in between streams, I gave both the Yomiuri Giants and us, the Orcs Buffaloes, our customary one-game head start in the Climax Series final stage. The Giants are up against the Bay Stars. The Giants, of course, have been to the postseason the last two seasons, or the Japan Series the last two years. And we pantsed them the last two in a row. The Bay Stars were most recently in the Japan Series in 2025 when we beat them in six games. But they're back this year with a vengeance because they have Max Kepler, the Triple Crown winner for the Central League. Over in the Pacific League, it's us, the Buffaloes, the Phenoms, the Dynasty in motion, up against the Niigata Komatsu Bears, the expansion team that finally, finally was able to put it all together and get into the postseason. They did so on the strength of a rotation that finally bloomed into being positively good and an offense powered by their franchise stud Natsuki Endo, but also driven by 38-year-old Yoshitomo Tsutsugo. I am definitely going to have to give these guys a new uniform next season because the maroon and, and teal is kind of dragging on me a little bit. I think we may need to give them a proper purple attire, especially if they win this series. But they're in tough against the buffs, you know, and our rotation looks friggin' ridiculous. We've got Davit coming out of the bullpen for Pete's sake. And in game two, Yonamine drives these buffaloes. We end up giving up a... He gets into a bit of trouble, falls behind three and two, gets the lead back, and the buffs keep going forward with that. Fernandez and Higashi slamming the door. Fernandez, five strikeouts in five batter... or account for all of his outs. Fantastic effort by the rookie. Okay, he may not actually be a, a rookie anymore, but fantastic sophomore campaign. Game three, Masahiro Yokoyama versus Shinosuke Sato. A closer one. Kaoru Higashi gives up a two-run jack in the top of the eighth, but the Buffaloes are able to slam the door and keep the series lead. That's why I titled this episode, Are We Goliath? Because I'm seriously concerned that we are uh, punching above our weight here. I'm not punching above our weight, that we are punching down on the rest of the league. That's the right way to put it. Everyone in the starting lineup has at least one RBI. Balanced scoring, you love to see it. Ah, the Bay Stars pick up a win against the, the Giants. Actually, you take 
a 2-1 lead. So we may be rematching up against the base stars in the Japan series and our old friend Max Kepler. For now, we're going up against Kenichi Sato, the young phenom of the Bears rotation. As a ground baller, look at this guy. Absolutely what we should be wanting in our rotation, but we're throwing out QG Tachibana, who pitched a no-hitter at the All-Star break and also led the league in wins. So it's not like we're resting on our laurels by any stretch. This actually is not even his best season. He was better in his rookie year and even better last year. So thankfully, we do have a bullpen to lean on. We can always go to Yamamoto in a pinch. But this could be a very short series for the Niigata Komatsu Bears, and I kind of feel bad about it. Dome, sweet dome. Winning seven pendants in a row means we've seen a lot of postseason success here. Huji pounding the zone and able to get the ground ball outs he needs so far. You gotta watch against Tsugo though. He could be trouble. He wasn't. Guzman on the wrong side of second is able to put him away. You'll also notice some familiar faces. Aside from Tsugo, Akira Neo, formerly of the Chunichi Dragons, signed a minor league deal with the Bears towards the postseason push. If you followed some of my other saves on Discord, like the Hanshin Express or the Shizuoka Arrows Dynasty I posted on the Out of the Park forums. Kota Inoue is definitely a name that should ring a bell. But we faced off against these bears plenty of times. And Yuki Sato is going to get things rolling for the Buffaloes by parking this one into the left field gap. It's a stand-up double. Now, we know Shosei Nakamura can throw, so we're going to be a little more cautious on the base pads than usual. Especially when Manny Guzman can't find the strike zone. Oscar Munoz pops this one up. Shallow center field. Not deep enough for Yuki to run on. And Onizuka is going to pull this one down the line and fair. That's going to reach the right field corner. Yuki Sato's in to score Onizuka. Two out RBI double. Yeah, Jeets. Strike three. And Ota strikes out. Definitely have to watch Endo here. High drive. Center field, Yuki closes the gap. Is able to make the play. Kota Inoue, the left fielder. High drive, left field. That one will go over the fence. We have a tie ball game. There's a reason I nicknamed him King Kota in the last save I was in. He sends, grounds out to Guzman. And Neo pops this one up into left field. Abe is there.
Fantastic play by the shortstop, Tamuda there, to take a hit away from Yoshida. He's been struggling this postseason, as has Ota, both now batting under the Mendoza line. And they are intentionally staying away from Seiya Suzuki, knowing what he's capable of. Here's a left fielder, Abe, now. Drives this one to left field. Inoue drops it. Clanks off his mitt. Runners at second and third. With two down for Yuki Sato. And he's going to drive this one up the middle. That's going to score at least one. Here comes Abe to third, and he will stay there. Brings up Manny Guzman. Drives this one straight through the box, up the middle. Runners at first and second with two RBIs now. Three. Such menaces on the base paths are Yuki and Manny. Munoz grounds out, but the Buffs have regained the lead here at the through two innings. Brings up former Buffalo Shose Nakamura. Not exactly doing well against his old team, but he's gonna put a charge into this one and get the Buffalo or get the Bears back within one. As long as we can stay ahead of the gopher balls. <laughs> Flared into right field, diving play by Seiya. Or stumbling play, and he's able to make the grab one away here, top third. Higuchi now, the second baseman. Inside ball four, or the DH today, inside ball four. That will make us deploy the Tsutsugo shift. Strike three. And Yoshi will strike out looking. Strike three. Ideally, we get Kenichi Sato out of this game quickly. Ota with his with with a rare hit. Now he's aboard for Masataka Yoshida. Macho's gonna muscle this one to Kota in left. And he's always able to make the play. Lost Seiya Suzuki on a full count. Umino on the ground to the shortstop Tamura, who flips it 6-4. Buffs can't add on to the lead yet. Strike three! The 1-0 to Kota. On the ground this time, Guzman from deep in the hole makes the play. He sends now. Up for Niigata Komats. Line to center field. Diving stop by Yuki Sato, but he gets there. Tomohiro Abe puts a charge into this one. That's going to fall in front of Natsuki Endo. I think he may have misjudged it a little bit. Abe with a leadoff single. This ball is lined right to the first baseman, Tsutsugo, and he's able to squeeze it for the first out of the inning. Guzman's going to ground up to his shortstop counterpart, Tamura, which brings up Munoz. Fly ball over the head of Nao. That will roll into right field. Safe. Oscar Munoz with an RBI single. It's 4-2 Buffaloes now. And a wild pitch off Shose Nakamura will put, push into third. Endo will be able to get a grip on this one, though. Just the one additional run. But it's key insurance for the buffs. Brings up Akira Neo. 
Goes the other way, base hit. Abe cuts it off, but it's a leadoff double for the Bears. Shosei grounds out. Guzman to Onizuka. And that pushes the tying or the run over to third. Full count to Sawano. Up the middle. Guzman's able to make the play. They will concede the run. It's still a one-run ball game here. Tatibana allows a base on balls. We're going to get Davit warmed up in case we need a long man. A 1-1 one -one to Higuchi, the DH. The other way, popped up. Seiya is there. Through five innings of three-hit ball, I'll take it. I wonder if Father Time's finally started to catch up to Macho a little bit. Yoshida is having an abysmal postseason. His bat's finally starting to, to reach the decline phase, I think. Hard to tell. Strike three. You've got Davit ready in case Tachibana runs into trouble. Full count to Tsutsugo. Karabari Sanjin. QG picks up his third strike out of the game. 2 2 to Endo. On the ground, Guzman to Onizuka. Two away here. Kota Inoue. On the ground, Guzman. Long throw in time. Quick 1 2 3 inning for QG, and that will probably put an end to his day at six innings of solid work. Strike three. Yeah, we're going to go Davit, uh, Ishikawa, and then Fujimoto, probably. Swings on an inside pitch. Guzman with a perfect throw to first to Nav Vicens, who's in a bit of a slump, to say the least. That brings up Akira Neo. Striked out looking. Strike? Struck out looking on a slider. Strike three. One, two, three with two strikeouts. Well played, David. Off walk for Guzman. That will finally chase Kenichi Sato from the game. Six innings, seven hits, two earned runs, four total given up. Poor guy. Joan Lionhard, normally a starter, comes in to try and keep 
stem the bleeding and keep the damage to a minimum. Popped up to the second baseman? First baseman? Hard to tell there. One away. And they got Guzman in a pickoff. Doesn't matter. He's still there. Still steals second base. Passed ball by Nakamura. Manny Guzman moves over to third. The 3 2 to Jitsuo. Outside ball four. They got corners in. They're expecting bunt. Ota's going to launch this one into the outfield gap. Base hit. Guzman scores. Onizuka to third. That brings up Masataka Yoshida. He's going to lay a bunt down up the first base side. Fantastic sacrifice bunt to drive in another run. Here's Seiya. Fly ball, center field, Natsuki is there. We're going to save Davit for later. Tamo Fujimoto with the reverse splits is going to be coming in. Big fireballer coming in. He may, we may ask for two winners from him. 96 miles an hour on the fastball to, for a strikeout. Swinging bunt. Infield hints hit for Shoji Tamura. And that reminds me, I need to do a defensive substitution. Sir. Higuchi strikes out swinging. Oh, two to Tsutsugo. Karaburi Sanjin. Fujimoto making it work. 13 pitches, three strikeouts. And only the bunt single to show for it. Strike three. Strike three. Lionheart's going hard after the Buffaloes in his innings of work. Two strikeouts and a lineout. We're going to let Fujimoto keep going. If he can save Ishikawa, all the better. A 1 2 to Natsuki Endo. Karaburi Sanjin. Sit down. Kota Inoue. High drive. Left field in front of the track. Yuki Sato is able to make the play. That brings up Brandon Vicenz, and we're just going to try and nose Fujimoto to the end here. The 2 2. Strike three. Called strike three. Buffaloes have won the Climax Series in a sweep and will play the winner of the Central League for the Japan Series title. Who else but Oscar Munoz as MVP? That makes it two straight Japan series or two straight postseason series. He's taken MVP honors. So we got some time to wait.
Bay Stars on the cusp of a reverse or of taking the Giants out in the postseason. MVP in a losing effort, slashing 550, 609, 900 with two dingers. But the Giants fail to capitalize on their pennant and fall in five games to the Oklahoma DNA Bay Stars. So we get to face our old friend Max Kepler in the Japan series. See, this is another situation where I would feel kind of bad if we lost, or if, if we won, because the Bay Stars only have one Japan Series win in their franchise history. After we stuffed them in 2025, given the fact that we've won the last six in a row, it might be time for someone else's star to shine, if you'll pardon the pun. Off to a good start. Buffaloes pick up the win, 8-3. Yoshinobu Yamamoto, 7 effective innings. Good to see he has him back in form after that uh, torn labrum. I at least want to try and win the dang thing at home this time. It's former Buffalo Masaya Kyoyama. Good to see he's found work again. I know you're not seeing things. That is Toshio Kimoto in a DH role for the Bay Stars. Ah, Bay Stars pull off the extra innings win, spoiling game two. Toshio Kimoto, the pitcher, playing as a DH, stroked a two-run two single off Akira Ishikawa, who saddled with a loss, spoiling ten strikeout start from Yukihiko Yonamine. So the series is tied, heading to Yokohama. to seven in a battle of the bullpens. Buffalo's coming back fierce. Eight runs through the sixth into the eighth. Look at that spike in the win percentage chart. 
Munoz's three-run dinger against Mejia, the difference. Julian Fernandez picks up the save of oh, the win there. Uh, it's worth pointing out Munoz hit a homer hat trick in that game. I'm sorry, what? How do you... He's hit only four baseballs all series. Okay, 8-2. Late comeback by the Bay Stars. Part of that on Tamo Fujimoto's head, part of that on Kyuji Tachibana being maybe left in a little too long. Four, three, the final in Yokohama for game five. Gomez gutting out seven innings for the win. So that means we have two chances to do the thing that we have not been able to do in this entire dynasty over six previous championships. Which is win the stinking thing at home. Hope springs eternal. You'll also notice a new face among the players who are actually active on the roster. Takechi Egawa is someone who I think may end up being our new left fielder. Very similar profile to... Uh, Keiichi Noguchi. But the uh, opposite platoon split for him. He may actually deserve some time over at third base, too. I got a very, very similar player. I got to figure out how to make what direction to take him in the offseason. So Joaquin Tejada up against YY with YY2 in Game 7, should it be necessary? Gosh, I hope we can pull this off. <laughs> Modi grounds out to Guzman, one away early. I've always had my eye on Hosokawa as a potential acquisition. Strike three. Sinker gets Hosokawa swinging. Ah, old friend Max Kepler. Flares this one over Onizuka's head, drops into right field. Two out single for Max. We'll bring up the third baseman, Yusuke Oyama. One one down the line. Ota's able to get there and flips it over to Munoz at second. No harm, no foul. Yuki Sato punches this one. Into left field, doinks a single to get things started. Takumi Oshiro's got a decent arm. Let's test it early. Yuki Sato off and running. Safe. He's safe, and the ball gets past the second baseman. Yuki's able to advance to third. Fuyuhiko Yano taking the error on that one. He looks like very uh, Tako Okuma kind of player. Guzman grounds this one out to the shortstop, but that will drive in Yuki Sato. 
The run scores. Buffaloes have the lead. Munoz gets a walk. And it's an infield single for Jitsuo Onizuka. Yeah, Jits. Munoz and Jeez. Onizuka with a double steal. And you can sort of tell that's the way this game is going to start going. Ota lifts this one to center field. Tagging and Three. scoring will be Munoz. Ashikuji not fast enough to cash that one in. Masataka Yoshida grounds this one up the middle. Onizuka is coming home from second. Three. Things are getting ugly for the Bay Stars here. It's 3 0 Buffaloes. Strike three. Seiya Suzuki strikes out, but the Buffs have been staked to a substantial lead for YY. Two two to Furukawa. Curveball on the outside half for the strikeout. That will bring up Keita Sano. DHing today in lieu of Toshio Kimoto. Strike three. Three strikeouts for Yamamoto so far. He is coming. Ready to win this at home. Hashiguchi makes up for his... Uh, never mind. He didn't have an issue. Line drive. Wow, he's fast. Signed him away from the Dragons as a free agent on a one-year contract. And, uh, whew. Oh, he was a trade pickup. Speedy fellow. Five-year contract extension. And then trade it away. Ah, this game makes no sense some days. Yano was the one who made the, three. the blunder. And he strikes out to strand Ashiguchi's double. Catcher Umino grounds this one over to Yano. Abe punches this one through the middle infield. He's not supposed to be this good. Yuki Sato drives this one to deep center field, and it's over the center fielder's head. Hashikuji can't get up, catch up to it. Runners at second and third with one out now for Manny Guzman. High fly ball, middle center field. Not deep enough to score Abe. Strike three. And those base runners will stay put. Buffaloes can't collect. The number in front of the mound, Yamamoto pounces on it. One away. Strike three. Mori strikes out looking. Bring up Hosokawa. This one's up the middle. Base hit. I just noticed they don't have collision detection in this. I always wondered what would happen if someone did tag the pitcher. Because that kind of looked like it almost did. Full count to Kepler. Outside ball four. That will bring the tying run to the plate in Yusuke Oyama. Popped up. Right side. Seiya's got a lot of room and a lot of time. Onizuka flares this one into right field. Base hit. Jitsuo's having a fantastic postseason. But unfortunately, Ota is yeah. not, and that is a 4-6-3 double play. Macho's really struggling this postseason. 
But he's inside outs this one. Drops it into left field. Two out single. Old man Macho still gets it done. Say Suzuki, high drive deep to left field, and that one's gone to the Owen Don. Seiya Suzuki gets it done. 5 nothing Buffaloes here in the bottom of the third. Masaya Kyoyama comes in in relief of their starting pitcher. Familiar face to Buffaloes faithful. Furukawa is going to pop this one up on the infield. Guzman calls for it. Play is easily made. Here's Sano again. High drive into right center field. Yuki's on his horse and he's able to haul it in. Ashiguchi pops this one up. Shallow center. One, two, three inning for Yamamoto. And given that he staked to a five run lead, I say we let him run with it. Abe draws the leadoff walk. Yuki Sato is going to move him up at least 90 feet. Hard hit barreled single into center. Guzman off the end of the bat. Going to be a tricky play. Infield single. Base is full of Buffaloes, and it's Munoz at the plate. Ball's going to skitter away from Oshido. All the runners move up 90 feet. Munoz goes the other way. That's going to fall into right field. Hosokawa is there. RBI fl sack fly. Here's Jitsuo then. Hard hit ball through the right side of the infield. That's going to score another run. It's 8-0 now, and that will put an end to Kyoyama's day. Daikato now will induce a line out to the second baseman for the second out of the inning. Yoshida flares this one into left. Back on it is Kepler, and he's there. I don't mean to sound optimistic, but I think we're finally going to win the Japan Series at home this time. Six strikeouts now for Yamamoto. He's been pitching a gem here. Only three hits allowed in five innings. And the base star strand another base runner. Umino punches this one up the middle, over the mound. And it's a one-out single for the catcher. Umino flares this one the other way. Base hit. First and second now, and it's Hernando Mejia. The base stars are burning through their remaining pitchers like crazy at this point. Trying desperately to keep them in this series. Guzman will take a four-pitch walk. Look out, it's Munoz again. Flares this one to left. Kepler is there. Line drive not particularly hard hit. And sure enough, Kep's going to start off the top of the sixth here. The 
one two to Oyama. On the ground, Guzman, plenty of time and space. Here's Furukawa. Strike three. Fastball at 98 with an exclamation point to finish the sixth. Probably the last at bat for Onizuka today. Ota grounds him to another double play. I want to see why I finish this inning. So we got mitts now over at first. The one two from Yamamoto flared into left. Abe is able to make the play. Four pitch walk. Issue to Hashiguchi. Double play chance here. That's two straight walks from Yamamoto. We're going to get Fujioka warmed up. Uh, let's check in on him. 95 pitches. Yeah, we're going to have to pull him pretty quickly. Uh, weak shift right. Shift right. Hold the runner. 2-1 to Oshiro. Fly ball center field. Yuki Sato is there. That will bring up Kei Tomori. Popped up in foul territory. And it's Umino who makes the grab. A hundred pitches of and scoreless ball from Yoshinobu Yamamoto. Vintage performance from our ace tonight. Umino's having himself a good postseason. Nice to see that he got another hit. Ryota Mitsunaga now. Abe flares this one to left. Kepler is there. Yuki Sato goes the other way. Base hit. Runners at first and second, and here's Manny again. Strike three. And there goes Manny. YY cooked. Yoshihiro Fujioka comes in. We're going to give him the eighth, probably the ninth, too. Popped up off the very end of the bat. Ota and foul ground makes the play. You know what? We may hand it over to Ishikawa with all those lefties coming up. Uh, actually, it looks like uh, Fujioka does pretty well against lefties, so maybe not. Fly ball. Seiya moves in two away. The 1 2 to Oyama. Fly ball deep to left field. Abe is back on it, but he's able to haul it in just in front of the track. Knock, knock. It's Munoz. He's been having a quiet game, but then again, he doesn't need to have anything after that homer hat trick in game three. Matsuda with a Forces uh, Hosokawa to make a diving play out and right. I think that may be his first Japan series at bat. Ideally, that's his only... No, no. Yeah, it is. Ideally, that's his only Japan series at bat. Yoshida flares this one to Hashiguchi. And the dynasty is 
three outs away from being cemented at home for the Strike first three. time. Thirty-six thousand, and maybe even more if they crammed him in. Strike three. Ashiguchi, the center fielder. A three-one. Fly ball, center field at the track. And Yuki Sato is able to make the leaping grab. For the seventh time in a row, the Oryx Buffaloes are Japan Series champions. You can't write this stuff. <laughs>this one is sweeter because we were able to win it at home in a shutout love it Jitsuo Onizuka picks up series MVP honors by slashing 517 sorry slashing 611 720 944 so yeah even Oscar Munoz's home run hat trick is not enough to tilt the scales here. Two run, three run, solo. an actual good catcher in the draft this year, Katsumi Hatakeyama. I don't think we're going to be able to play to get him. We got to go with, uh, it's going to be tough. Not many good players coming out of Kansai right now. We have Masahi Suzuki, slot thrower. Mayuhiko Shinomiya. Okay, decent uh, shortstop potential. Shinji Kaneshiro. Profiles as either a shortstop or a third baseman. Ooh, Michio Hashimoto. I like that range and the speed. Absolute hand screw option there. Why is this guy in the NPB draft? I hate to say it, but I think we need to remove this player. There we go. I'm okay with the occasional American showing up in the draft, like Todd Betts Jr. who we drafted, but... Okay, so this guy's going to the Bay Stars. Aomori. <sighs> Poor Hokkaido, stuck with only nine players. I think I may need to combine the uh, Tohoku and Hokkaido draft pools again. Yeah, let me do that now, actually.
Some days it just helps to grab a snap of something. There we go. Let's go back to the draft. That's more like it. I mean, yeah, the, the carps still are stuck with only just the Chugoku region, but at least there's 20 players there. anything I think we might need to split the Tokyo teams up no that's not fair that as is. I'll have to update the draft order now that the standings are finished. But we've got time because, you know, it's... We've got 45 minutes to go before we wrap the session up. Actually, you know what? I don't think we're going to get to the draft tonight anyway, so I'll do that another time. For now, we finally get a championship to crow about at home. We finally accomplished our goal, winning the championship at home. actually use Takanibu Matsuda. Did use Inoue. Yep, Shimazu is gonna get an arm. Yuta does too. Who we got on loan? That's who I was looking for, Shinohara and Tanaka. Suda gets 
recognized as well. He gets a ring. Oh, and I guess we, Kita counts as well. I keep forgetting about the guys we traded away. Seven titles in a row. This is now the tying the most successful run of success I've had in this game. We'll ship Kita his uh, championship ring later. Alright, Seiya heads to free agency. You know what? I'm okay with that. Age 36. As good as he's been. We've got Noguchi, we got Egawa. 6.4 wins above replacement. Like, how much do you want, buddy? 4 million? Not giving you that much money. Seiya is going to be headed elsewhere this offseason. Wow! Market size and fan loyalty both went up. Alright, so have we finally gotten to the point where our market size is bigger than Hanjin's? Now, here's the problem. Our coach, our manager, Satoshi Nakajima, based on his most recent extension, has now taken over the coaching staff. So this is going to be interesting to see how he puts his squad together. I will say Yuji Yoshimi has done pretty well too. Interested in an extension? Sure. Now we got all of our minor league coaches locked in. It's just outside the top 10 in terms of prospects. Kevin Gaines right behind him. Shinohara also up there. Lots of people getting fired. Wow. Some interesting people getting posted. Oh no, the Spirit posted their stud center fielder. Oh, that's going to go over well in Okinawa. Kashiwabata getting posted by the car. <laughs> Are you crazy? Yeah, I'm okay with all these guys leaving. Did it with all those folks. It's going to suck to see Seiya start playing for someone else, but... There's only so much budget I have to go around at this point. Mm -hmm. 
I'm holding by my rule that I don't offer a long-term contract during arbitration unless the player asks for it. My buddy pitched a no-hitter. Good friggin' season. Ah, so Tomiyama. I think we're gonna let him go. I feel like we've got enough good pitchers. Boy Julian. Well done, Fujimoto. Good season, Ishikawa. The four key components of the Bleep You bullpen. And you want We'll extend Masaru as well. Not a key contributor, but an important piece of the bullpen. That Tiger Strait keeps looking better. Especially since Jang hyok -yo is now a free agent. Higashi is getting expensive. That's what I'm worried about is going to happen with uh, Oscar Munoz, that eventually he's going to cost more than I can afford. And I either have to cleave some guys off of this roster or find some creative way to keep him in in the house i mean he, he probably is the odds on favorite to win mvp this year oof okay jitsuo getting a big payday ditto for manny You know, if it was anyone other than Cub, I may not be giving him this kind of a pay hike, but Guy turned in maybe the best season of his career. Or best season in a few se in a few in a part-time role. Certainly the best batting season of his career. So maybe we, we keep Cub longer than I originally thought. Maybe we find a way to, to get him into the lineup more frequently. Like maybe move M Munoz out to center field or left field more frequently. I gotta think about this. Inoue is one of those guys that didn't really impress at the left field spot. But he's young, he's not that expensive, so what the hey, let's extend him. El Capitan Noguchi. Alright, that's all of our ARB eligible guys. Now we just have to hope the game doesn't crash before it saves. Alright, so it looks like uh, our coaches picked this guy from the Cardinals to be our pitching coach. I'm okay with that. I just hope he's not making us pay through the nose.
Okay, there. Save. Whole bunch of coaches and our new pitching coach, Jose Cabrera. Looks like he's got a pending offer for a bench coach, Jason Rogers. Ooh. Excellent taste, my friend. Looks like we're picking him up from uh, Chibalate. You know, maybe I need to let my manager figure out the... the staff more frequently. He's got good taste. I just wish this mail wasn't forward. Oh, another team is for offering me a better deal. Why is this man being paid that much money? Okay, he had one good season and since then he's broken the league salary structure. Got it. Poor Chunichi. Only one golden glove and it's our boy Yuki Sato. He's won the award every single year he's been in the league. Alright, different bench coach this time, Katsunori Nomura. Okay, all right. Best nine winners, Jitsuo, Munoz, Guzman, Seiya, and Yoshida. Good on Oyama for finally turning in a, a season worthy of his uh, talent level. Kepler, of course, picks up best nine. Okay, we got a new bench coach. Rookie of the year, Ryota Nakano. Center fielder for the Hawks, their first overall pick from 26, 2026. Kenichi Sato steals the Sawamada Award for the first time in a long time. It's not won by a Buffalo. Shinosuke Sato, Yukihiko Yonamine, Shinobu Yamamoto, and Carlos Gomez all garner some votes. Of course, Tateishi wins Sawamada again. 18 wins, holy smokes.
Oscar Munoz wins MVP. Hotly contested though, Natsuki Endo and Shu Masada right on his tail. Friggin' ridiculous. What's equally going to be ridiculous is when I move him to center field next season and move Yuki Sato to left. Or put him in left. I just gotta think, like, how do we keep Okuma in this role on this team? Kepler and the Triple Crown wins the MVP with the Base Stars. Credit where credit is due, Natsuki Endo and Shu Masada had great seasons. They also didn't put up 10 wins above replacement like Munoz did. Like I said, he's going to be expensive as bleep to try and keep. take a flying guess and say that the MLB season is just wrapping up now. I'm also curious to see who our new first and third base coaches are going to be.
21 year old decided to retire. Oh well. Why why hang it on gamely? Still with our team. I don't think he's getting an extension at the end of this year. Yeah, we're not extending say yeah. I've added Motohito Sato onto the 40-man roster. Interesting uh, player option here in uh, Tsubasa Tokumoto. Let's see. Uh... All right, we may have a new first base coach in Jeff Roper. Arbitration declines. Yeah, I wouldn't touch Shinohana. Also, not that interesting. Rotator cuff. Mogi's a free agent now. I miss a Godomogi. It's a shame the carpet broken in, but... I'll always remember that 2023 season when he burned the whole league down. Eagles have given up on their closer. So credit where credit is due, Justin Wilson manages to make it eight years of service, which means he is now considered a domestic free agent. I know in the real NPB it's nine years, but level with me here. Same for his teammate, Jeff Bain. That's going to boost their uh, profile a little bit. I get the feeling we may be able to play in the free agency market if we're exceedingly careful with who we sign.
Why don't you guys finally getting some uh, MPB domestic free agency rights this offseason? Still no expansion yet, which is frustrating. Rios is... One year of NTB service time short of getting domestic free agent rights. Kepler put up 8.6 wins above replacement and he's gone. Old man Tetsuo Yamada. 38 years old and finally on the free agent market. Creeping around the base paths. I mean, our player payroll is third at the moment, which is a little higher than I would like it to be. I can make that work. Six foot nine, 200 pounds. Goodness gracious. Let me see what our, our bullpen looks like before I start throwing money around. The scenery culminate seems like an interesting option. Why did the Tigers give up on this guy? Absolutely are going to bring Yoshitaka Kosaka into the, the fold. As a ground baller? As a lefty? Hell yes. I mean, yes, he is fragile, but we can work around that. Tokuboda wants 10 mil. He can take a hike. Hiring choice, Alex Cabrera. All right, so credit where credit is due. Akajima did a good job scouting his uh, coaches out.
I just wish you gave them longer than one year deals. Call up Hasegawa and Shinohara. They just go to the bullpen, okay. Okay, so we can drop EDA down. Suddenly a lot of our bullpen seems fragile, and I'm not sure if I like that. That's what I want to see. So we got Egawa versus righties and Noguchi against lefties. Uh, rather not call up Inoue. No, it's got to be Tsukisaburo Tanaka. He's going to get the call up finally. He's kind of splitsy too, okay. our backup middle infielder. put Yoshida out at, in first base, or out at left field. Just to field a, a super lineup with Tsukisaburo Tanaka at first, Onizuka at DH. A 
Nebina, not liking. Kumoto, no thank you. Is there anyone else oops, on the minor league squad? I guess we can call up Inoye and see. Coach thinks about that. I'm gonna have some fun in the offseason training up everyone at their, their different positions. Two rookies pull into the lineup for the next season in Egawa and Tanaka. And we'll see if Yoshida becomes an absolute defensive liability in left or if we uh, have to do some jiggling around. Tanaka's useless in left. Amizuka. Not a good fielder at all. So it's gotta be Macho in left field for now, I guess. Alright, we've made it to the draft, which is just about where we're gonna cap things off. We're gonna be back online again on Saturday, so be sure to tune in for that. We'll have the draft, we'll have the offseason, we'll get into the 2031 season where I guess the dynasty keeps going. Be sure to follow to get notified when I'm streaming again, and I will catch you on the flip side. Fire Age, take us out. <laughs>